First of all, let me say this quite explicitly, that Islam does not allow for domestic abuse or violence of any kind against any individual, whether that individual be your, your child, your spouse, your parents. This is a concept that is totally alien to the Islamic teachings and against the blessed sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The first hadith that I want to mention before you is reported by Umm al the mother of the believers, Sayyidah Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She says, مَا دَرَبَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِمْرَأَةً وَلَا خَادِمًا قَدْتُ That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he never struck out at any of his wives or servants. This hadith in itself is a clear indication of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's own personal character and conduct in relation to his wives and his companions. In a hadith uh, uh, reported by Imam Bukhari in Kitab al-Nikah, a few of the blessed companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they came to him and said, Ya Rasulullah, tell us of our women. How should we treat them? What should be our conduct in relation to them? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, treat them the way you treat the way you treat yourselves. They deserve the same dom domestic rights that you do. And do not hit them, nor should you ever disgrace or dishonor them. Again, a clear indication that the Prophet ﷺ is telling us that this is a reprehensible act. This is something that is alien to the teachings of Islam. And the Prophet ﷺ's own personal character and conduct never allowed for something like this. Uh, the famous hadith that many of you have come across, that many of us have heard in, in khutbahs, in speeches, in talks, in seminars, uh, narrated by, uh, uh, reported by Imam al-Tabrani, where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, khayrukum khayrukum li ahli, that the best of you are those who are the best in conduct towards their families. You know, it doesn't get any better than that. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is showing us an example, a model, and the best model from amongst you, the best individual in relation to character, in relation to conduct, are those who have the best relation and treatment towards their families. We cannot brush this issue under the rug any longer. We have to admit that such a problem exists. We need to stand up for the rights that Islam and the Blessed Prophet ﷺ gave to women. In fact, and it's quite clear, and many of you know this, that Islam is the pioneer of women's rights. So let's stand up, let's show some solidarity and clarify some of these misconceptions. The misconception that Islam allows for domestic abuse of any kind, whether it be physical abuse, whether it be mental abuse, verbal or even spiritual abuse, it is a gross misinterpretation of the Prophet of Islam and his flawless character. This is has absolutely no basis in Islam. For those of my beloved brothers and sisters who are suffering from such abuse, as your brother in Islam, I urge you to stand up, make your voices heard. I urge you to stand up, go to your Imams. If need be, go to the authorities, get people involved. Do not suffer in silence.